Hello everybody, my name is JT Master from Naughty Senpai, bringing to you another unboxing video that I promised you guys in the last video. Uh, I got a package from Right Stuff, which is, has an item from Sentai. Uh, they actually released it a lot earlier than usual. It's the uh, Knights of Sidonia Collector's Edition. And if you know anything about Right Stuff, when it comes to uh, shipping packages, they... Uh, they usually tend to ship stuff out like a week to three weeks before release date. But when it comes to Sentai's items, they usually do it like a month or a month and a half in advance, which is crazy, but it's really cool because you get a lot earlier than you expect. Go ahead and get this thing open. Whoop. And I got a Sailor Jupiter card as one of the extras that uh, Right Stuff put inside the packages. I don't think I had her. No, I don't think I did have her. I still want Mars though. I don't have Mars. Put all that junk over to the side. Really? Really Right Stuff? You give me two of the same damn card. Uh, okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I guess I'll trade this to somebody who wants uh, Jupiter. Maybe they'll have, give me a Mars. Oh! I if I can get this sucker out. There we go. And there she is. Knights of Sidonia Collector's Edition box set. Just show you guys a little bit closer. Bottom. Oop. Wrong way to mask. There we go. On the top. Actually, I like that design on the back. It's pretty cool. But let's also get to the inside and show y'all guys that. Now, hopefully, this one doesn't disappoint me as much as uh, the Funimation premium set for um, Darker Than Black did. Because that thing was like really really flimsy and whatnot. Uh, let's see here. As far as the thickness of the box goes, it's actually pretty much about like a, a regular chipboard box, which is nice. It's not the thin, it's not really thin, but it's not like really thick. So like, you know, it'll do that little bit of bending, but not much. I'm glad they didn't go with a flimsy. Any kind of flimsy box. I, I know that uh, like Aniplex will do stuff like that sometimes. I mean, you pay out the ass for their sets, and they give you like these really like paper thin uh, bo slip cover boxes and all that stuff for them instead of giving you a chipboard box, which I think is a complete ripoff. I'll put that over to the side. And right here we've got the Blu-ray set. For this series. I actually haven't finished watching the entirety of this series. I think I went about halfway and uh, then I had stopped. I was actually waiting to see if they got a physical release because I, I try not to finish a series that I end up liking. Like, you know, I'll watch like four or five episodes. If I end up liking it, sometimes I'll actually stop watching it and I'll wait until a physical release comes out. That way when I buy it, I can actually enjoy it uh, when I watch it you know, watch the physical version. And it's also really cool to see it in Blu-ray because it usually looks a lot better in the Blu-ray. But uh, I'm wondering how this will look in it. And I'll show you guys the inside of the thing. Now see, they didn't cheap out on the looks of their disc, which I really, really appreciate that. I hate it when a company will cheap out on the looks of their disc. They'll just have like the, uh, the anime logo there. And then that's like it. Or they'll have just like one little tiny thing, you know, really cheap designs. But now they actually put little artworks on these, which is really cool. And it's a slip, it's a uh, reversible slip cover. Which I will show you guys that. Hold on. That is the uh, reverse side of the Blu ray slip cover. Oh, that's really cool. It shows one of the mechs there in the. Uh, it's like a. Scrapyard or something. I can't, I can't really tell quite what it is. Looks kind of like some kind of scrapyard or whatever. In space. All in space. 
Uh... Oh, where'd I put the... Oh, there they are. I was like, where'd I put the disc? <laughs> right, we got that one out of the way. Let me show you guys the DVD cover. Oh, this one's really cool. I really like the design of this one. It's real nice. And then there's the, uh, the back image for you. And of course, this one being DVD, it's three discs. So you got that one. Focus camera. Focus, focus. And that one. And this one. See, they got they got artwork on each one of these. It's really cool. And then that is the reverse side for the DVD cover right there. So far this this set looks really, really nice. I like it. And uh, I only end up having to pay $54 for this set, which isn't bad. Blu-ray DVD combo, uh, collector's box, and we got this little set right here. Let me show you both sides of that. And this one's supposed to contain all the uh, postcards and uh, whatnot. Suckers over there. And see, we've got uh, this logo sticker for Knights of Sidonia right here. Oop. We got this really cool card right here. I forgot what they. What kind of card they called that? Um, oh, there we go. Is the poster? Again, I don't know which way it's supposed to go. Maybe it's this way. And then uh, there, it's double sided. So you know, if you wanted to display this somewhere in the room, you got two different sides to show. I would probably display this side though. This one looks the coolest. And this one, I think, is supposed to be the flag for uh, the flag for the Federation or whatever their group is called. I I can't remember. Like I said, I've only seen a couple episodes, and I I've already forgotten a few things. But it's really cool that Netflix actually was the one that got the exclusive streaming rights to it. Uh, so Netflix is even starting to get into the uh, the whole anime area. In getting stuff, and uh, I thought it was really cool that they got the exclusive rights to it, and they actually had, uh, they dubbed it in three languages, I think it was? I think it was three languages. And then they had subtitles and everything for it, uh, like if you watch the Japanese version. And in here we've got the art postcards that run that, and they're double-sided. So you got artworks on both sides. That's really cool. Uh -oh. I'm gonna face him down my bad. It's almost like a. This order almost looks like a uh, mall of some kind. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> now we got some more necks. Nice little scenery photographs, well, artworks, which are really, really cool. I got this all facing the wrong way. <laughs> that one. So, like, some of them are sides with uh, mechs on them, and the other ones are just a lot of nice scenery artworks. And some of them have a uh, little character portraits too. These are really nice, and they're not flimsy like the uh, the Funimation ones were in the Darker Than Black set. 
Those things, okay, these are a little bit thicker. Uh, the ones that came in that dark and black set, they were so freaking flimsy. I mean, they were literally paper thin. Like, notebook paper thin, just about. And I mean, I was, I was really disappointed how thin those things were. I was disappointed a lot of stuff in that set, and that's, that's the cold hard truth. I mean, I might still keep this set just for collection purposes, and it's a limited set, but as far as looks and how they did everything into it, I was really, really disappointed in it. Uh, I'm waiting to see how the uh, Blu-ray Masters look for it as compared to the DVD Masters. I really like this one right here, that mansion in the background. I'm not sure who the artist for uh, a lot of these are. Does it say on in here? Uh, damn, it doesn't say who does it on here. But whoever the artist was for these cards, I really like the artwork. It's very nice. Of course, some of them look like anime images, but then others are like, uh, they're like concept artwork. It's very nice. I need to look up who the artist is for these. I'm sure I can find it somewhere. Alright. And that is all of the cards. And I, uh, my final judgment for it, I'm actually really pleased with this set. I wasn't sure how it was going to end up. Sentai is getting new into all the uh, collector's editions for everything. And... Uh, Hopefully they stay good with their sets. Um, they had the Chinibia set. The Chinibia set was actually pretty cool. I liked it. They had, they're actually putting really nice designs to everything in their sets, which I'm, I really appreciate that. Uh, companies like Funimation and a few other ones, they're cheaping out in certain areas. Uh, either they're getting really thin so-called art boxes that are easy to tear, really, really flimsy. And then there's also the fact that some of them, they go really, really cheap on the design, either on the box itself or like the discs design and all that. So they get really cheap with those. But uh, Sentai is doing good so far with it. Uh, they got the No Game No Life one coming out. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it was just the cards. They got the No Game No Life one coming out soon. And uh, I've got that one pre-ordered. And I'll do an unboxing video for it when it comes out. And then one of my uh, most favorite things that they've announced recently. Um, they announced that they've got a collector's edition for Persona 4. The animation coming out. Not the golden animation. That one's being released by Aniplex. The original animation. It, I think this one's longer too, and, and I personally I think it looks better on the animation than the, the golden one does. And uh, I think story-wise it was a lot better too. But uh, they've got a collector's edition for it coming out. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo. And uh, they haven't given details about all what comes in the set just yet. But uh, as soon as those details come out, we'll know. And I'm really, really excited about that. And it actually comes out a week after my birthday in September. So that's going to be really cool. Something to use my birthday money on, pretty much. But uh, that is all for this unboxing video. Um, like I said, I really like this set. I think you guys should uh, go out and buy it if you enjoyed the series. Or if uh, you want to try to get into the series, the collector set is very, very nice looking, and I, get, I give it a thumbs up for how it looks. And uh, I'll be having some more unboxing videos coming whenever in the future. I've actually got some imports coming in probably in about a week or two. And then I have a couple other little things coming in here and there. And then I've actually got a collector's edition for one game coming out. Um, I'm going to show you guys that one uh, whenever, whenever it comes out. I think it doesn't come out till July, I believe it was. It was either June or July. I'll have to look it up again. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please uh, like, subscribe if you want to see more stuff. Uh, 
I'll try to get more things out to you guys in the future. Uh, Garrett will also try to get some more stuff out. I keep trying to tell him to do some more things. But uh, again, again, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.